Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCHG81. I hope you have a great day today because I'm going to do a comparison review for this Mayfax Symbiote Spider-Man versus this City Toys Symbiote Spider-Man. Okay, so the reason why I'm putting them so near is because I would like you to guess which one is the Mayfax. Leave your answer down in the comment sections and I'll give you a few minutes guys. Few minutes later. Okay, so Let's review the answer because once I put them back, you should be able to tell which one is which. Yes, the one on my uh, left here is actually from the City Toys and this one itself is the Mayfax one because you can see the height is different <laughs> and since we are at it so let's talk about the scale okay so as we know the city toys tends to be slightly smaller than the original so uh, for this symbiote spider-man as well you can see that it's just slightly shorter as compared to the one from mayfax it's not as bad as the uh, symbiote toby Maguire spider-man <laughs> versus the original that's a big difference yeah so it's just tiny bit shorter for these CD toys, which is, I think it's still acceptable. It's not that bad after all. Okay, so let's switch places. I always like uh, Mayfax to be on my left and the CD toys to be on the right. Okay, so from here, let's take a look at the overall look. As you guys can see, it does looks very similar. Let's take a look at the plastic quality. As some of you guys actually mentioned that it's kind of cheap quality, but I assure you, once you have it on hand, it actually feels pretty much the same even the weight and the feel of it doesn't feel cheap at all for the city toys uh, but how good of a quality is the plastic um, I'm not doing any drop test here yeah maybe if I drop test both of them it could be both of them will break <laughs> yeah but I, it just doesn't feel cheap you know it really feels like the original actually it's not like uh, it's hollow it doesn't feel hollow yeah it still feels good and you can see the paint itself actually looks pretty good even for the black like I mentioned uh, the original does have a slight shading of blue uh, depending on the angle sometimes you can see it when the light is reflected off but this one also have it as well I'm not sure to what extent but sometimes I do see when I'm playing with it yeah i just reflect some blue light so it's still a very good paint but uh, upon closer looks you can really see that some of the lining is actually being uh, mispainted yeah for original of course it's much nicer but i do remember uh, when i was doing a review for this guy there are some collectors who actually received quite a bad painting for him as well i'm quite worried for this one here because i have seen some pictures whereby some collectors are actually complaining about the paint scratches and uh, the mispaint and things like that <laughs> so it's no perfect uh, for both of them yeah but you can see um the white is slightly different here this tends to be a much like a uh, matte white and this white is more glossy yeah maybe that's how you tell but overall yeah to the untrained eyes is actually looking very much similar at, at the lower legs you can see that the original have a much cleaner paint but the um, city toys does have more rough surface here okay and at the back is pretty much the same guys yes <laughs> so let's take a closer look at the head you can tell that wow it's really really good looking for both of them even for the CD toys it can really be passed as the original so guys this is a really really good <laughs> Uh, wood legs here and here is another thing that lets you tell which one is the original and which one is not okay very simple can you see this is Mayfax it just says Marvel but <laughs> for the city toy it doesn't have anything yep this is <laughs> another easy way to tell which one is the original Okay, now let's move on to the articulation. I have checked again for the previous review for this guy here from the Mayfax. Uh, it's very, very much similar as this guy. And I do remember I mentioned about how well he can actually bend backwards. 
and I, I was I was saying that whether this Mayfest can do the same and yes he can as you can see so the articulation is very very much similar but uh, of course when you are doing the uh, uh, bending you know at the pushing up you know all these kind of things the joints actually feels much better on the original is uh, a lot smoother yeah you can see that there's no sound of it <laughs> anything like that but for the CD toys <laughs> there's a lot of squeaking sound I mean to some of you guys maybe it's a good thing because that means that it's very tight uh, it doesn't get loose over time uh, but it just doesn't feel as smooth as when you play with the original and that's about it as for the range of movement it is very very much similar for both of them so as you can see I can pull off this superhero landing pose very easily for both of them there is no issue at all so yeah this guy even though it's a CT he still can do some pretty good dynamic poses just similar to the Mayfax ones okay and next I'm going to compare the accessory for both of them as I mentioned in the CT Toys review uh, he actually comes with everything that the Mayfax comes with including the stance as well nothing is being missed out at all but nevertheless I'm still going to compare some of the accessory as always i'll start with the hands yes the one from mavex does have this uh separator plastic that comes together which is a good placement if you are um, uh, into this kind of things i actually like it a lot because it helped me to organize the hands but the city toy doesn't have all these things <laughs> it just comes with separately yep and you can see that for the hands it actually looks very very much similar even the size i think yeah it's about the same size now let's compare with the other mask head that comes with and from here you can really tell that the CD toys is slightly smaller and somehow uh, by looking at the head you can also tell us that uh, the paint is slightly different as well the one from the CD toys have a slightly glossier black and even the white is a bit glossy but for the Mayfax one it looks more of a matte material kind of like a much better finishing yeah as you can see yeah so i think from here you can really tell there are some differences in the paint after all and i believe this is what you guys been wanting to see which is the unmasked head yes the one on my left here is the mayfax and this one is the cd toys so as you can see guys it's not 100 percent similar but i would say it's about 95 percent there yes of course the one from mayfax is being painted slightly better especially on the hair this one just seems like uh, a lot of black wash on the hair uh, but nevertheless it does looks as good as you can get from a bootleg here yeah guys this is really really nice at least we don't get any cross eye any funny faces this is really good and lastly let's compare the back as you can see wow it just looks very much the same but again like the head you can really tell that the CT toys ones is slightly smaller but in terms of the material wow I can feel that they really looks and feels the same I mean if I were to shuffle it without looking at the size I really can't tell which one is Mayfax and which one is CT toys okay so as you can see once I put the bags on the figure it looks really really much similar my goodness i think if i shuffle them around i wouldn't be able to tell which one is the original and which one is the ct ones both of them looks pretty good and since we are at this accessory session i know some of you guys actually ask whether can we interchange some of the accessory between them okay so let's try with the original Okay, the Mayfax with the CD toys. I must hit first. Okay, whether it fits. Uh, yes, you can hear the clicking sound. And from here, uh, yeah, it just feels like the head is slightly smaller as compared to these original ones. You can see. Yeah, but from afar, I think he still looks okay maybe does the body looks much bigger than the head uh, i think still possible and now let's try on the other 
head from the CD toys, whether does it fits. Uh, let's see. Uh, somehow it doesn't go in. Three days later. Okay, yes, so I have tried to push several times. I can feel that I think the hole here is slightly smaller than the joint. It just feels to go in a little bit and then it just bounces back right out. <laughs> I don't want to force it because I really don't want to break this thing. So the head doesn't seem to fit into the joints. But nevertheless, with some blue tag, I think you can still use it. Okay. Next, I'll try on the hands. So we we'll just remove it and try on the CD Toys hands. Yes, it fits perfectly. Okay, so this looks almost very identical here. Now we'll try with the other way around. So I'll get the CT toys to try on the uh, Mayfax heads. Let's see. Yeah, I think the joint is uh, slightly smaller because the hole on the head is smaller. So when I put this in, it just goes straight in. Yeah, <laughs> so you can hear the slight clicking sound. Okay, so this is how it fits. Uh, I think the head is really bigger than the body here. <laughs> yeah, so it just feels like a bit big head. Okay, but it does fits, but it's very loose because uh, the hole is bigger than the joint here. Okay, and now let's try on the unmasked head of the this uh, Peter Parker. Let's see. Okay, same like the mask head is actually much smaller than the hole, so it goes straight in. Yeah, I can hear a slight clicking sound. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, but it's very, very loose, okay, because the hole is bigger than the joint. But you can still use it. Maybe some blue tag will tighten it. And from here, you can see that it looks pretty good as well. Okay, so for my final verdict, I would say yes, this CD Toys is indeed a very, very good replacement for those of you guys who didn't manage to get this Mayfax or you guys don't want to spend so much on him because this CD Toys is about one fifth of the price for the Mayfax. <laughs> yes, so this is about 20 something and this is about 100 overs. Yeah, that kind of range. So you you are basically buying five of these equivalents to one of the Mayfax. Yep, so this is as big different as it is in terms of the price. And as you can see, the quality isn't really that far off as compared to the Mayfax. And the accessory, everything else is there. <laughs> There's nothing missing from the original. Uh, and even if you do have this guy here, you can still buy him because I would think that um, some of the joints maybe you can just reuse for him. I mean, in any bad situation, you broke any joint, you really could salvage from this guy here because I think uh, just now we tried to uh, replace the accessory. Yeah, still can do so, except for the head is slightly loose. Yeah, so if you do lost some hands <laughs> you can really use this guy hands as well even for the feet yeah it's exactly uh reusable for both of them that's basically i think it's a very good reason for you to actually uh invest on this guy as well so i do hope that my comparison review will help you to see the differences between these two guys and how well is this guy as compared to the original and i'll catch you guys again in my next video